Okay, another wedding thing is perfume. I have seen so many people say that on your wedding day, you should pick out a new perfume. Um, so then anytime you wear it after your wedding, it'll bring back like those nostalgia feelings and moments because of the scent, because there's so much memory that's tied to scents. I know for me, like I can, I remember people's colognes and anytime I smell it, like years later, it makes me think of them. So I really wanted to do that. However, I am not a perfume person at all. I never wear perfume. I don't really want to spend a ton of money on perfumes that I'm only going to be wearing one day of my life and then for special occasions after that. So I was really excited that Dossier reached out to me and wanted to work together because they have luxury scents at a fair price. All of their perfumes are only $29. I think there's one that's 39, but all the rest are 29 and they're all inspired by like luxury scents. And what's really cool is they mail you them to your house and give you a sample. And that way, if you don't like it, there's no risk. So I'm gonna show you them. We ended up getting three scents. One of them is unisex. One is for Kyle and one is for females. And then as you can see, on here it says what they're inspired by but what I really love about these is that they give you this little tester so you can spray this first and then if you don't like it you just don't open this back and you can return it for free so these are the different ones I got oriental woody eight this one's inspired by Victor and Ross flower bomb which is a really popular one I test this one out this one's oriental woody seven hmm wait i really like this one i think this is the female one that's nice okay fan of that this is the oriental woody eight this is the unisex one Honestly, I would say not the biggest fan of this one, which is perfect because all I did was test the sample and I can send this one back. Oh, wow. This one is so good. This is Fresh Woody 6 and it's definitely fresh. I think this is the male one and mm, it smells like you just got out of like a shower. Like your man is clean. So I definitely want Kyle to wear this one. This is the one I think I will be wearing. Just a really beautiful packaging. I'm gonna wear this today because I, I also think it's important to try it on your skin too to make sure it like goes well with your body chemistry. Cause I know scents can completely change based on like your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'm really excited for that. Got that taken care of. Now we will have a scent that will always remind, of, remind us of our wedding day. If you guys wanna try out Dossier, I highly recommend them. So many people say they do smell almost exactly like the inspiration. So if you do have a favorite perfume and you're looking for an alternative that's cheaper, definitely check out their website. I will have my discount code and links in the description. Some wedding updates. My friend Justine came over and helped me cut out these squares for the napkins. Then these are gonna be all of the table runners. I cut out 14 of those, and then those are a little bit shorter just to use for decoration. I still have a ton more fabric um, because I didn't realize, but this is kind of like two pieces, so you can definitely keep it together and use this as one runner, but since I wanted to make 100 napkins, I decided to cut this down the center. And yeah, this is what we did. We just put a big square and then started cutting the napkins out around it. Some other wedding stuff that I ordered from Amazon. I got a three pack of these ribbons. There are all these neutrals. And then I got a four pack of these and basically I'll probably use these to tie around our bouquets. Also in like other decor, maybe to wrap around the napkins. 
Then I got this really beautiful champagne colored ring box to put our rings in. All of this is from Amazon. And then I got these little stickers for the bottom of our place cards, which I've been working on nonstop. This is like the setup. So I've been taking all of these postage boxes and using them as my spray painting stations. These are all the ones I've done. These ones are all done. So yeah, this is the color I've been using on them. It is the color cinnamon. And yeah, I'm gonna put those little stickers on the bottom of here so people can use them as coasters. Right now I'm debating if I wanna do them now before I ship them to the calligrapher or if I wanna do them later. Part of me thinks I should just do literally everything I can right now when I am like a month and a half out from the wedding and that way I'm not super stressed because that would be something I needed to do probably like a week or two before the wedding. So I might start putting all those stickers on. <sighs> that sounds so tedious and you like throw on like a movie or YouTube video. But anyway, I'm still cutting napkins. I still need to cut like a hundred more napkins. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour probably. Kyle went to go to the store to buy buckets so we can start dyeing. I bought some like Rit dye. I'm hoping to just dye the runners like a little bit of an off-white color. And then I want to dye the napkins more of a terracotta color, but almost all Rit dye is like sold out because everybody's tie dyeing during quarantine. So it was kind of a challenge to find a Rit dye formula that I liked that had all the colors in stock. So I just bought what I could and I'm gonna try to combine them to make a terracotta color. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't think I've given you guys like a bedroom update but y'all get a sneak peek. I absolutely love the light in here at this time of day. So beautiful. And then I'm gonna put like a chair, I think, in there eventually. Something else that's exciting is Kyle's ring came in the mail. So we ordered his ring off of Etsy. I'm trying to get some better lighting. And that is what it looks like. It's silver and then the edges are gold. He wasn't exactly sure what he wanted. He did like this one, but he never wears rings. So he doesn't really know what kind of jewelry guy he is. So I don't know. I don't know if he like loves it, but if you never wear jewelry before, you're kind of indifferent. So I'm hoping he falls in love with it as he wears it more, but it's super timeless. Um, some other ones he looked at were like black. He also looked at some that were like black and gold and black and rose gold so a little bit more statement pieces but we ended up coming to this one because it's simple it's timeless matches well and yeah so hopefully he grows to love it once he starts like wearing it more i don't know if i've given you guys a honeymoon update but we have officially booked our honeymoon oh, praise the lord that has been the one thing that has been really up in the air when it comes to the wedding was the honeymoon. Obviously, all the places that we were trying to book to were closing down or we weren't even allowed to fly there. So I ended up just going on Thumbtack and finding a travel agent and my friend Maddie used a travel agent for hers and she said she highly recommends it. It's actually, I didn't know, a lot of travel agents are free because they just work off commission from all the resorts. So we found Heather Travel of Bliss, I think it's called. I'll have her linked in the description. Yeah, she just asked us what we wanted, asked us our budget, and then she sent us some options, gave us a whole itinerary, and she spe specializes in Mexico. So she had just gone to Mexico like a week or two ago. So she has a really good idea and sense of what it's like to travel there. And she's visited, I think over 150 resorts in Cancun. So anyway, that's where we're going for our honeymoon. We're going to Cancun. I never thought I would go to Mexico for my honeymoon because I've been there before, but I've actually never been to Cancun. 
and it's gonna be a much different experience because the only time I've been to Mexico was like spring break mostly. So this is gonna be like a nice romantic, all-inclusive resort. We're gonna stay at two resorts, so four nights at the first one, and then we're gonna hop over to this other resort, which is actually on its own island. There's some other resorts there too. It's not like a private island for the resort, but yeah, it's on, it's on an island. So the water is really clear and that one we're staying at for five nights. So nine nights in total, honeymoon in Cancun. We're leaving the Thursday after our wedding. So about four days after our wedding. We got some more exciting projects happening. Kyle just got back from Home Depot. And there's a difference. Oh yeah, shiny. So I mean, this one's still dirty, but he is making the sign holder for our acrylic welcome sign. Thank you, Mr. Handyman. I'll link the tutorial he's following in the description if you're interested, and I'll insert a photo here of what he's making. I am starting the dye baths. I have a few. In there, I'm starting with these two. I did one teaspoon of golden yellow and one teaspoon of tan. And I'm gonna do a sample strip to see if I like it. So they turned out definitely too yellow. <laughs> Not a good look. And I was like, well, now I have to dump this whole bin out and then refill it. I think next time I'm literally just gonna put a little bit of the tan in and that's it. It's hard because these are black bins, so I can't really tell what color it is. Kyle has made a lot of progress with this sign. We're getting there. The sign holder. These nines are being painted the This is the final product. There you have it, folks. Thank you, Kyle. It looks great. All that's left to do is we have to bond it together. Yeah. Because right now, oops. Because <laughs> right now it would fall over really easily. But it looks so good and it was really simple to make. Yeah, super simple. I am currently trying to dye all of the napkins. We cut them out of this gauze into, I think about like 15 square, 15 inch squares. So now I just have my big tub I put three gallons of water, one cup of salt, and now I'm going to play with all my colors and just test it out to try to get the color I want. I want them to be a like rust orange color. So I think what I'm gonna do is use tangerine, cocoa brown. I hope these work out nicely because my table runners did not work out. So we have to dye all of those again as well. Okay, the color is looking pretty good. It's actually a little bit darker than it even is showing on camera. So yeah, I think I'm gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes and then I will rinse it and make sure it's like the perfect color. Okay, I wanted to show you some other wedding updates. First one is this huge copper stand and we are gonna be using this for the seating chart. So here is the inspiration. I wanna hang acrylic pieces from it and then probably put some florals around it as well. This is what it looks like right now. I believe it is six foot tall and five feet wide. I'm gonna have him change up the bottom. We're gonna actually move it more to the center of this and we're gonna trim this piece so it's not as big. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So just imagine some like clear, like hanging string, clear string with acrylic pieces and like a nice floral arrangement on it. But yeah, that is one wedding update. We also got some things in the mail while I was on my bachelorette party. So I got our guest book. I'll have all of this stuff linked below. I just wanted like a linen plain guest book and then we will most likely have um, a two like instant cameras and then we'll have people tape their pictures in and write us notes in here. So these are the boutonnieres that I got from the guys. I ordered them on Etsy. Again, I will have them linked. Um, I asked her to customize it a little bit by putting in these pink flowers because that'll match the bridesmaids better. I might switch out this ribbon for something 
um, not so purpley because I have a bunch of extra ribbon from Etsy. So that is the only change I might make. Another thing that came in was our cake sign. Okay, I got it out. This is what it looks like. It is just this really pretty script font. It says Mr. and Mrs. Wolfgang. And I will insert a photo here of our cake inspiration. So just imagine this on top of that cake. Right before my bachelorette party, I got my nails done. I was testing out a color that I think I want to use for the wedding. I don't know if every salon is different, but I believe this is OPI 134. And it's just this like really light pink. It's almost nude colored, but I think it's really beautiful and classic. So I think this is the color I'm going to go for on my wedding day nails. While the napkins are dying, I'm going to work on some other things. I'm working with Something Borrowed Blooms for my wedding day decor. I'm just going to insert some pictures of what I'm ordering. The first thing I'm getting is the Taylor Bridal Bouquet, which looks like this. I'm going to be using this bouquet for my adventure photo shoot up in Sedona. Two days after the wedding, me, my photographer, and Kyle are going to go up to like Sedona or horseshoe bend and take some really beautiful photos in my wedding dress so I wanted a faux bouquet for those photos just to make it really easy. I am also ordering these candle sets and my venue doesn't really want exposed cam candles especially because they're outside but I really do love the look of the candlesticks. I feel like it adds some height to the decorations and the candles so I found these. Also I'm ordering the spiral seated eucalyptus garlands. I'm ordering probably at least one for each table and then I think I'm also going to have them lining the aisle so I might order some extra for that and what we're gonna do is pop in some real roses into the garlands because they are just like the eucalyptus look and those will be going across all of the tables like so. This is like the big picture of inspiration for my wedding tables. We are doing a buffet, so I'm not gonna have any plastic plates on the tables, I just don't think that would look good. So instead, we'll just have like the napkin, the silverware, their name card, and which is like the tile. Me and my wedding planner, Brittany, are going to do a mock-up of everything. I'm gonna take pictures with her. She's gonna come and organize all of my decorations into boxes and label everything. <laughs> so I would highly recommend her, or if you are not in the Arizona area, I'm sure she would travel, but I would definitely recommend having at least the day of coordinator because it makes such a difference. I cannot imagine doing this without her. So anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm gonna place this order and then I'll update you on the napkins a little later. The color turned out so pretty. It's not as orange in person. I'm trying to get like a more realistic lighting. There we go. It's definitely like that rusty orange color. It's super vibrant. So I'll probably maybe start off by putting it in for less time, but I absolutely love this color. So I'm gonna start putting in all of the napkins. I decided to replace these really pink ribbons with these like peachy color ones or like tan ones. I think they look a lot better and they match the flowers a lot better than this color. So I just bought all of these on Amazon. Wow, I absolutely love these. I think they look a lot better with these new ribbons on them. So I'm gonna throw them all in a plastic bag. I'm gonna start organizing our wedding stuff. We got all these big bins so I can start kind of organizing things for the tables and just things we need to pack. So I'm designing the sign that the ring bearer is going to walk down the aisle with. This is what I have. So what I did was I just went on Canva, found a font that I liked, and then printed these out. And then I, I tried to do it all in one piece, but those were too small. So I just printed them bigger. And now I'm placing the words, and then I'll probably just go over them with a white chalk marker. I went to go pick up my wedding dress today. I had some alterations and additions added to it. So it was so excited to see the finished product. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm so excited to show you guys. I wish I could show you early. And now me and Kyle are going to our venue walkthrough. This is our 30 day walkthrough, which is crazy.
crazy. We're literally a month out from our wedding. It's crazy to think in three weeks it will literally be my wedding week. That's wild. But at the same time, I'm so excited and I just pray time goes by fast because I am so done with my season of engagement. I'm done with it. And so, you know. Hidden Lake is oh, fitting. Cool. This is, yeah, this is cool. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so welcome. <laughs> and Brittany, I'm assuming this is your first time here too, right? Second. Yeah. Oh, you've been here before. Okay. There's gonna be a generator here. She'll be set up here. And then you'll have the cable here as well. Okay. Wedding update. As you guys saw, we went and toured our venue. And that was lovely, a little stressful because it was 114 degrees out. So it was so hot. All of us were super sweaty. So it was pretty overwhelming and exhausting to be out there. But thankfully, the weather is supposed to get better in Arizona starting next week. So we are 30, now 29 days out from the wedding. And it's still 114 degrees in Arizona. But next week it's supposed to drop down to low 100s. It's actually gonna be 95, which is like, oh, uh, so great for here. Cause it's been like a solid month of 110 degrees plus. If you guys could pray for the wedding weather that we would be blessed with a beautiful night and a beautiful sunset and it wouldn't be too hot, that would be lovely. Um, I wanna give you guys an update on the napkins. Me and the napkins, we have some beef. I don't know, we have some bad, bad blood. I'm actually getting, like there's sensation running through my body right now as I'm about to talk to you about these napkins because let me tell you, I feel like I wanna cry because I'm so done with these napkins. Anyway, I ended up dyeing the napkins like two or three times two times and there was 120 of them. So it took a long time, it took me two days, but they are done. They do not look perfect. They are all different colors. Let me just show you. Here is my box of napkins. Some of them are like this pink mauve color. Some of them are a little darker and more orange. It's just, it's fall, okay? So the other day I went to Trader Joe's. This is how I expect them to like look on the tables and we just put some flowers in here. I still have a bunch more to do. Um, I'm just seeing how these ones turn out as they dry. And I think it'll be fine. It's just, it would be nice to have these all done before the wedding. That way I don't have to worry about it. But all the flowers are over here. So I've just been cutting a little bit of these off and plopping them in. So that is the napkin situation. I started organizing all of our wedding stuff. We got like the welcome table box, cake stuff. I tried to do this sign. I think it looks pretty bad, but I don't know. Does it look bad? I guess it's not horrible. From far away, it really doesn't look bad. But when you get up close, it's rough. Anyway, got the rings, a marriage license, vases, started plopping some candles. Our wedding sparklers came in. Um, I'll probably take like one of these vases with me or even that one's kind of cool. Maybe I'll put that and just put all of them in here. Maybe I should do that beforehand. But yeah, just started organizing all of, all of our stuff early i got these suspenders from amazon for kyle and the groomsmen i wanted to order them first to see how i liked them and honestly these are like the most real and high quality leather look looking ones that i found okay that is the wedding update there probably will be many more wedding updates probably a few other wedding videos but i'm gonna cut it off here because i feel like there was a lot jam-packed into this video so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys didn't know, me and Kyle started a couples channel and that is gonna be the channel that our wedding video is gonna be on. So definitely subscribe to that. I'll have it linked in the description. We should have a couple videos on there already. And I don't know when you guys are watching this, but we may have already announced that we are going to have 
our wedding live streamed and you guys are all invited to it. Uh, and the entire announcement video will be linked as well if it's up already. All right, I love you guys. Bye.